Hello, this is Jane Goodall, and I want to say how very honoured I am to have been asked to join in paying tribute to David Bamberger for all the wonderful work that he's done. And I'm sending you this message from Gombe, so I think it's only fitting that I send a distance greeting from the chimpanzees as well. <laughs> Congratulations. I remember so well visiting the Bamberger Ranch. You had deliberately sought out the most degraded, the most abused, the most overgraded land in the whole of Texas. And now here it is, 5,500 acres of flourishing habitat. And I think you must be really proud of the fact that because you pioneered these methods, Hundreds of other landowners and agencies and habitat managers, uh, not only in Texas but around the nation, have followed the example. So you can probably reckon on millions of acres of land having been restored thanks to you. And I love to think of all the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of animals who are living because of you. It's interesting on his ranch, they had no water when he purchased that ranch probably almost 40 years ago. Now, in normal years, based on the estimates of a Parks and Wildlife Department biologist, about 1,000 to 1,500 acre feet of water leave that ranch every year. So the water that he created, it goes into Miller's Creek, into the Perdinalis, and then where? It goes into the Colorado River system, so the water that is generated on David Bamberger's ranch goes right straight under Congress Avenue Bridge. All the policymakers in Austin should realize that when they turn the tap water on, they are beneficiaries of David Bamberger's efforts. It's called Bamberger Ranch Preserve, but I would submit to you that it's not just a ranch or a preserve, it's really a campus. The most effective teaching I've done in my career has probably been on the shores of Madrone Lake or under the Lacey Oaks on a hillside when I had kids journal and really investigate what was going around them in nature. If you've had the chance to observe David in action, you realize that he is a storyteller. It's easy to see why we have underground water. Mostly what he's doing is trying to communicate to you how what he does and what he values plays out in the real world. A great thing about the ranch is all the people that it attracts, both learners and teachers. Good job. He has wildlife biologists come out and he becomes the student. Later on, he takes the lessons he's learned from them and teaches them to us. It is such a wide spectrum of learning. It is ecology, how everything fits together and how you have to really look at the totality in order to focus on the individual. He's done this with bats. He's done this with Texas snowbells. He's done it with lots of species that almost fell off the, the earth because of neglect or ignorance. And I'm afraid very few people actually know that about him. David Bamberger has been very influential in the lives of many of our students here in AISD, especially students at Metz Elementary and J.J. Pickle Elementary. The experiences that the boys and girls have had at the ranch, being from an urban community, going out to the ranch, experiencing things that normally wouldn't, they wouldn't experience here in town. They actually experience what it is to go out into a setting where it's all natural and it's explained to them in detail how it works that the life cycle, the rain cycle, the water cycle, things of that nature really allows the children to learn it and really absorb that knowledge and allows them to have a better understanding of nature and what conservation is. Case in point, the experiences that the boys and girls have had has really improved their tax scores. Last year, we went from a 60% to 83%, so it does make a big difference. David Bamberger is one of the most interesting, innovative, entrepreneurial conservationists that's ever, ever uh, existed in Texas. People thought that he was crazy when he started restoring his ranch. Today, people come from all over the world to see what he's done, to, to see the incredible change that he's brought to that place, but more importantly, the message that it gives in terms of what you can do on your land to restore not only the habitat for wildlife, but for water. It's been a real privilege to know him, to follow him, 
and to see the impact that he's had on landowners all across our state and beyond. David Bamberger is a hero to everybody in the conservation community. He has showed the public and the media and the legislature that the most important thing anyone can do for water resources is take care of the land. What he's done with his ranch is a model and should be an inspiration for all of us.